Hello once again. My name's Kurt. Welcome to my fun quiz number 138. To take part in the quiz, grab yourself a pen or a pencil, some paper, jot down the answers. Simple. I'll give you all the questions first, all the answers at the end, all of which take just over 30 minutes. So good luck and enjoy quiz number 138. It has six rounds. They are TV, slogans, connection, what connects the answers, find the link, a general knowledge round, as always, pictures to finish up with, and there are eight questions in each of the rounds. So we'll start off with round number one, if you're ready. TV, question one. When Rachel first appears in Friends, what is she wearing? When Rachel first appears in Friends, what is she wearing? Absolutely brilliant series. If you haven't watched it, you must. It's a must. OK, question two. In Faulty Towers, in which town is the hotel located? In Faulty Towers, in which town is the hotel located? which is actually mentioned in one of the episodes. <laughs> Number three, in Blackadder, what is the name of the actor that plays Baldrick? In Blackadder, what is the name of the actor that plays Baldrick? On to number four. Dad's Army is about a group of men in which branch of the British Army? Dad's Army is about a group of men in which branch of the British Army? Number five. Gavin and Stacy is set in which two UK towns? One point for each correct answer. Gavin and Stacy is set in which two UK towns? It's mainly filmed in one, I must admit, but it's set in two. Number six, what is the name of the block of flats where the trotters live in Only Fools and Horses? What is the name of the block of flats where the trotters live in Only Fools and Horses? And number seven, in open all hours, what is the name of Arkwright's nephew, his sole employee? In open all hours, what is the name of Arkwright's nephew, his sole employee? Question eight. What sitcom features the characters Penny Bernadette and Amy Farrah Fowler? Great series as well. What sitcom features the characters Penny Bernadette and Amy Farrah Fowler? OK, then on to round two, slogans. So what do you associate with the following slogan? Number one, every little helps. Every little helps. What do you associate with that slogan? Number two, you either love it or hate it. You either love it or hate it. 
What do you associate with that slogan? On to number three, live well for less. Short and sweet, live well for less. What do you associate with that slogan? Okay, question four, for the journey. So well-known slogan for the journey. But what do you associate it with? On to number five, you're better connected. Number five, you're better connected. Number six, oh, simples, getting shorter and shorter. Simples, what do you associate with that slogan? I don't know if you can call one word a slogan, but hey, simples. Number seven, it's got our name on it. Question seven, it's got our name on it. Who or what do you associate with that slogan? And finally for this round, number eight, believe in better. Question eight, believe in better. Okay, moving along, round number three, connection. What connects all the answers in this round? Remember, once you've got the connection, just check your answers, make sure they are all right. Okay, so first question is, an excessive amount of what can cause the condition tinnitus? An excessive amount of what can cause the condition tinnitus. Question two. What word describes a group of people constituted as the decision-making body of an organisation? What word describes a group of people constituted as the decision-making body of an organisation? Number three, what type of structure runs from Wall's End on the River Tyne to Bowness on Solway in Cumbria? What type of structure runs from Wall's End on the River Tyne to Bowness on Solway in Cumbria? And number four, what is used to communicate using semaphore? Question four, what is used to communicate using semaphore? Question five, what alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? What alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? That is question five, and you may have an inkling of the connection by now. 
Question six. What is the term used to describe something placed to entice fish or animals? What is the term used to describe something placed to entice fish or animals? And number seven, what is the name of the bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? What is the name of the bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? Hopefully you've got some idea of the connection now because question eight, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? Hopefully you've got it. We shall see later on. But for now, moving on, find the link round four. So in entertainment, what links the following? Number one, Jeffrey George Bungle. So what links Jeffrey, George and Bungle? Number two, Beaker, Scooter, Gonzo. So in the entertainment world, what links Beaker, Scooter, Gonzo? Number three, phones, Troy, submarine. So what links phones, Troy and submarine? <clears throat> Number four, bones, Sulu, Chekhov. Bones, Sulu, Chekhov. What's the link? On to number five. Arnott, Fleming, Hastings, AC12. Arnott, Fleming, Hastings, AC12. What connects, oh, sorry, not what's the link there in the entertainment world? And on to number six, vowels, consonants, conundrum. Question six, vowels, consonants, conundrum. What is the link? Number seven, straight, flush, full house. Straight, flush, full house. What links those? And finally, number eight, Amity Island, Sheriff Brody. You're going to need a bigger boat. Amity Island, Sheriff Brody, you're going to need a bigger boat. What links those in the entertainment world? <clears throat> okay, then on to round five, a general knowledge round. Your first question. Olympic and world silver medalist Steve Backley is associated with which branch of athletics?
Olympic and world silver medalist Steve Backley is associated with which branch of athletics? Number two, in which month is Epiphany? In which month is Epiphany? If you're not sure, it's a one in 12 chance. Good to you like that. Okay, question three. In which 80s and 90s TV series did René Artois appear? In which 80s and 90s TV series did René Artois appear? And I've just finished watching it. Number four, which stimulant is found in tea and coffee? Which stimulant is found in tea and coffee? On to number five. Apart from red, what other colour appears on the Polish flag? Apart from red, what other colour appears on the Polish flag? Number six. How many sides does a trapezium have? How many sides does a trapezium have? Number seven, who wrote the novel Jane Eyre? Who wrote the novel Jane Eyre? That is question seven. And your final general knowledge question is, a revolving firework is named after which saint? A revolving firework is named after which saint? Right, your final round then. Eight pictures for you and your first one. Can you name this character? Sure you can. Can you name this character? Question two, what is the name of this character? What is the name of this character pictured here? On to number three, who is this character? Always a diff difficult one, this. Remembering which is which. Who is this character? Question number three. Question number four. Mm, who is this character? Who is this character pictured here?
Number five, what is the name of this character? What is the name of this character? On to number six, can you name this character? Can you name this character? On to number seven then. Oh, who is this character? Very well known. Who is this character? And finally, number eight, what is the name of this character? Again, very well known. What is the name of this character? That's it, that's your final picture. It's your final question. So, Hopefully you've managed to get something down for all the questions, right, wrong or otherwise. Well, let's find out how you've done. Let's go through the answers for you. OK, let's start with round one. Your TV round. Question one. When Rachel first appears in Friends, what is she wearing? She's wearing a wedding dress. Number two. In Faulty Towers, in which town is the hotel located? It's in Torquay. Number three, in Blackadder, what is the name of the actor that plays Baldrick? His name is Tony Robinson. And number four, Dad's Army is about a group of men in which branch of the British Army it is the Home Guard, protecting the country from invaders. Number five, Gavin and Stacey is set in which two UK towns? Well, for one point each, it's Barry in Wales and Billericay in Essex. Number six, what is the name of the block of flats where the trotters live in Only Fools and Horses? It is Nelson Mandela House. Number seven, in Open All Hours, what is the name of Arkwright's nephew, his sole employee? It's Granville. And number eight, which sitcom features the characters Penny, Bernadette and Amy Farrah Fowler? It's The Big Bang Theory. Brilliant series. OK, round two, our slogans. Now, what do you associate with the following? Number one, every little helps. That is Tesco. Very famous slogan. Number two, you either love it or hate it. Marmite, of course. I don't particularly like it. Number three, live well for less. That is the slogan for Sainsbury's. Number four, for the journey. That is Lloyd's TSB. Number five, you're better connected. That is O2, not BT, it's O2, you're better connected. Number six, simples. Of course, that is compare the market, compare the meerkat, simples. Number seven, it's got our name on it. That is Wix, the builder's merchants. And number eight, believe in better, is the slogan for Sky. Sky TV and broadband. OK, 
Okay, round three, your connection round. How did you get on? Question one. An excessive amount of what can cause the condition at tinnitus? Oh, sorry, knocked my laptop there. It is noise. Tinnitus affects the ears. Number two, what word describes a group of people constituted as the decision-making body of an organization? It is the board, company board. Number three, what type of structure runs from Wall's End on the River Tyne to Bowness on Solway in Cumbria? The structure is a wall, Hadrian's Wall to be exact. Number four, what is used to communicate using semaphore flag? Use flag or flags. Number five, what alcoholic drink is made from fermented grape juice? It is, of course, wine. Number six, what is the term used to describe something placed to entice fish or animals? It is bait. Bait on a hook for fish. Number seven, what is the name of the bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? It is the wash, the wash. And number eight, what connects all the answers for questions one to seven? Well, they are all words associated with white, which in the end, I'm sure you got. Well done if you did. Well done if you got all the questions right. Move on then, find the link. In entertainment, what links the following? So question one, Jeffrey, George and Bungle. Of course, the link is rainbow. Question two, Beaker, Scooter and Gonzo. Well, the link there is they're all found in The Muppet Show. Number three. Phones, Troy, Submarine. We're talking Stingray. Stingray, Stingray. Do, 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 do. OK, number four. Bones, Sulu and Chekhov. Well, the, connect, oh, not, the link there we're after is Star Trek. All characters in Star Trek. Number five. Arnott, Fleming, Hastings, AC-12. Well, the link, Line of Duty. Great series. Number six, vowels, consonants, conundrum. They all link to countdown. Number seven, straight, flush, full house. Well, you'd find all them in poker, the game of poker. And number eight, Amity Island, Sheriff Brody. You're going to need a bigger boat, of course. Is Jaws. Okay, on to round five, general knowledge. Number one, Olympic and world silver medalist Steve Backley is associated with which branch of athletics? It's the javelin. He got all his medals throwing the javelin. Number two, in which month is Epiphany? It is January. It's not long after Christmas. Number three, in which 80s and 90s TV series did René Atois appear? It was Allo Allo. Number four, which stimulant is found in tea and coffee? The stimulant is caffeine. Number five, apart from red, what other colour appears on the Polish flag? It is white. There is a red and white stripe. On the Polish flag. Number six, how many sides does a trapezium have? It has four. It's like a squished uh, ziggy zaggy square rectangle thingy. Number seven, who wrote the novel Jane Eyre? Uh, it was Charlotte Bronte that wrote Jane Eyre. Number eight, a revolving firework is named after which saint? Of course, it's Catherine. The firework is known as the Catherine Wheel. And on to our final round, pictures. So number one, can you name this character? That is 
back push. Number two, what is the name of this character? That's Postman Pat's cat, Jess. So Jess is the answer. Number three, who is this character from The Simpsons? It is Scratchy. Of course, his mortal enemy is Itchy the mouse. Number four, who is this character again from The Simpsons? It is their pet cat called Snowball. Number five, what is the name of this character? They're great, that's Tony. Advertising Frosties. Number six, can you name this character? That is Top Cat. Whose friends are Benny and Officer Dibble. Number seven, who is this character? That is Sheer Khan from the Jungle, the jungle Book. Shia Khan. And finally, number eight, what is the name of this character? Well, from Alice in Wonderland, that is the Cheshire Cat, big smiley Cheshire Cat. So there you are, all your answers are in. So how did you do? I hope you did okay. But it's a fun quiz at the end of the day. So whether you did well or not, it doesn't matter. But thank you. Thank you for joining me once again in one of my quizzes. And, and say I've got lots more now. Have a go at another one. They're very, very similar in format. Uh, just a bit of fun. If you enjoyed it, please share it with somebody else or others. And if you have anything at all you'd like to let me know about, please just let me know. But that's it. So thank you once again for joining me. And for now, from me, it's take care and goodbye.